Hey everyone, Jordan with Voight Smith Innovation. Today we're going to go over how to assemble your pile driver boom system for your VSI sprayer. Uh, first thing first, obviously, you've got to open up the box. So now we have everything unboxed, and it might look a little overwhelming, but I promise it's not too bad. We have our shroud, we have our shroud ends, we have our spray pipe, we have our handles, we have our hitch mount, we have our spray nozzles, and then we have our hardware kits. Gold hardware for the hitch, silver hardware for everything else. You also will get this bag and a roll of one inch hose, and that's to build your hose sections to connect your sprayer to your boom. So we're gonna start by assembling the shroud. So now we've cleared off some space, the first thing we're gonna do is assemble our boom shroud. Uh, the piece of the shroud with the hole in it is your left side. The piece without the hole in it is the right side. And the blue piece is the connector of the two. So that'll slide into there. Obviously the hole's gonna line up. And then that side will slide in. Now we're gonna line up the bolt holes and we're gonna use our silver hardware kit to fasten it all together. Uh, we do have nylon lock nuts here. So that way uh, nothing's gonna vibrate loose for you. So now that we have our boom shroud all put together, we've put on our handles and our center nozzle holder. It's time to put together our boom pipe. So obviously this is our boom pipe, this is our coupler. We like to use a blue thread sealant. You could also use like a black uh, rector seal thread sealant, or you could use thread tape. But this makes it easier to uh, get the fittings tighter. So now we have our boom pipe assembled. Uh, one really important thing with the boom pipe is to make sure that the holes are perpendicular to the ground. Obviously, if they're facing to the side or up, the boom's not gonna work correctly. Now we did go over to our bench vise to get this fully tight. You wanna make sure these threads are threaded in far enough where they're not gonna leak and where you uh, have ideal strength. So in order to get that, you're probably going to wanna use a bench vise. Uh, before we actually put the boom pipe in the boom shroud, to make things easier for you, uh, for clearances, we're gonna actually put on the right side uh, as we're oriented to it, which is the, the pipe side that does not have the coupler on it. We're gonna put that end on first, then we're gonna feed the pipe through, then we'll put on the last end. So now we have this end loosely fitted on, just like the rest of the assembly, we recommend getting it loosely fitted before doing the final tightening. We can put our boom pipe in. Easiest way to do that is to flip it upside down. Now the boom pipe's in, we can put the other end on. So now we have the boom ends loosely uh, put on. The next step is to put on the end caps. So again, we're gonna use our thread tape. And then these plastic caps go on. You can just tighten those with a pipe wrench or a channel locks.
Make sure not to over tighten. These are plastic caps on stainless pipes, so if you over tighten, you will crack the caps. Once you get them down, now you have your clearances and you know where your shroud needs to end up. So now you can tighten down your shroud, have it flush up against your cap, that way everything will stay tight and it won't rattle around. So now we have our end caps on and tightened down. We're gonna put on our center one inch male cam lock. Same thing, we're gonna use our thread tape. Again, we'll tighten it down with our pipe wrench. Don't over tighten because it is plastic on stainless. So now that our boom's all put together and cinched down, we're gonna put on the finishing touches and that is the nozzle package. It's gonna come with five separate nozzles. This larger one is your outer post-treat nozzle. The smaller one is your outer pre-treat nozzle and then you'll have your center nozzle. Uh, these install really easily, just like everything else, we're gonna use our stainless hardware kit, and they all go on the same. So now our primary boom assembly is complete. The last step is to put on your hitch. The standard option is a two inch receiver hitch mount. Uh, we also do have a flatbed mount there's arms that bolt to the outsides here. Uh, for trucks with only have pintle hitches or something where you don't want to leave the boom with the truck, we can get you a kit to actually bolt the boom down to your flatbed so it's not having to go into your receiver hitch. But again, this is our standard option. We we'll wanna make sure, again, use our grade eight hardware, the gold hardware. And this is height adjustable. So depending on how your truck sits, um, we actually would like to see the boom between 18 and 24 inches off the ground. So if you have a truck that sits higher, you can set your boom lower. If you have a truck that sits lower, you can set your boom higher. I'm gonna go right in the middle. Sorry, I'm gonna put my washer on. Tighten these down and it's ready to go on the truck.